This is a short video to explain the assessment in ENG 1010. The hand calculation test is worth 10%. The HISIS test is also worth 10%. There are three case studies which are each worth 8%. And there is a practical project or lab project which is worth 6%. The final piece of assessment is the final exam, which is worth 50%. Altogether, the total is 100%, and to pass the unit, to get a minimum of a pass, you need to get 50% of the overall marks. The assessment is split into two groups. Coursework, which is completed during the semester, and the final examination, which is completed in the final examination block at the end of semester and each of these two components is worth 50%. The total of the coursework is 50% and according to the hurdle requirement in this unit you need to get at least 45% of those marks which equates to 22.5% of the available 50%. You do not need to get 45 out of 50% to pass the unit you need to get a minimum of 22.5 out of 50%. It's exactly the same for the final exam, which is worth 50%. You need to get a minimum of 45% of the marks that are available on the final exam, which equates to 22.5% of the available 50%. You do not need to get 45 out of 50 on the final exam to pass the unit. In summary, there are three criteria to pass this unit. Firstly, you must get 50% as a minimum overall in the entire unit. Secondly, you must get a minimum of 45% of the available coursework marks, which is equivalent to 22.5% of the available 50%. And finally, you need to get a minimum of 45% of the available final exam marks, which equates to 22.5% from the 50% available. 